chocolate pudding with avocados, but today I have used avocados to make what they're traditionally used for, guacamole, but with a slight twist. I'll tell you the recipe, but trust me, it's exotic, pretty to look at, and comes together in a jiffy. You need to start with one white onion that's been finely chopped, one green chilli that's finely chopped, one minced clove of garlic. Start pounding all of these together in a pestle and mortar. What we're looking for is to get a very paste-like consistency with these ingredients. Add the chopped up cilantro leaves and lemon juice. Because really, what is a guacamole without some lemon juice? You can, of course, use a food processor on the pulse mode to get this paste-like consistency. And really, that's what I would do on a day when I'm short of time. But today, I just feel like indulging myself by using a pestle and mortar. Just continue pounding everything together till it becomes one cohesive paste. Slice up two avocados and put them in a separate bowl. Use the back of a fork to mash it all together. Of course, using a food processor will give you a very smooth consistency, but using a fork here like I'm doing is going to give us a very rustic looking guacamole. Add the onion and cilantro paste to the mashed avocados and just give it a good mix. Just keep that aside for now. Now here's for a little twist. Add some cubed mangoes and pomegranate seeds to this guacamole. Trust me, we're not going to end up with a sweet guacamole. This is just going to boost the flavors to a whole new level. And don't forget to add that little dash of salt. So just mix, mix, mix and you're ready to serve this guacamole with some nachos. If you like this recipe, hit the like button and share it with your friends. When you try the recipe, leave a comment to tell us about it and subscribe to the channel for more such recipes.